Hey everyone, welcome to Apigee Edge 4 minute videos for developers season 25 episode 5. In this episode, we are going to discuss about how to expire the cache using various settings in Apigee response cache policy. Myself Anil Sagar, I work at Google on Apigee platform. Prerequisites for this video, you need basics of API caching, for that you can refer earlier 4 minute videos. As you know, Apigee Edge sits in between the client and target system, where you can able to create API proxies and cache the data in the response. So that whenever a call comes to Apigee Edge, it can able to return the data directly from the crash without going all the way to the backend, therefore improving the speed of the API responses. Obviously, when you cache the data in Apigee Edge API management platform, you would like to expire the data after some time and refresh the data from the actual backend system. You can able to define the expiry time of the cache when defining the policy itself. Primarily, there are three options available in the policy settings. One, you can able to specify the timeout and expire the cache after specific time. Two, you can able to define a particular point of time in a day and expire the cache regularly at those intervals. Three, you can able to set a date and expire the cache at that particular date. Again, all the times and values are followed by the GMT time. So you have to take care of the time zone and take the GMT time and update these values. Once the cache expires, then the request will go all the way to the backend, get the latest data and give it back to the client. Let's see it in action, how it happens. We're going to create a simple proxy to demonstrate same, the expiry cache settings in the response cache policy. Click on plus proxy, choose reverse proxy, and then click on next. So I'm going to give the proxy name as books API and give the backend as Google books API and click on next, choose pass through, click next, choose defaults, build and deploy. Once API proxy is deployed, click on the proxy that you have created and navigate to the dollop to add the response cache policy. Click on dollop, then click on preflow plus step on top of request and choose the response cache policy. Click on add. As you can see, by default, the expiry settings is timeout in seconds, that is 3600. Let's change this to time of day. So we're going to pick a time of day. Let's say it follows the GMT time. So at present, the GMT time is 826. So I'm going to give 828.00 and then click on save API proxy. Again, follow the 24 hour notation. You can also set a timeout in seconds or expiry date based on your requirements. But in this video, we're going to see time of day 828. Once the API proxy is saved, navigate to trace to see it in action. As you can see, the proxy is saved. Go to the trace, see it in action. As you can see, time is still 826. As you can see, if I make an API call, it's question mark Q is equal to node.js, make an API call. As you can see, the first request took around 639 milliseconds. Let's make a few more API calls to catch the data. As you can see, the second request onwards, it took 19 milliseconds because it is coming back from the Apigee Edge cache. As you can see, if time is 827, it keeps coming back the request from the Apigee Edge. The moment 828 happens, then the cache will be cleared. It goes all the way to the backend. As you can see, the requests are going through Apigee Edge cache and returning back. It's not going to the target, but cache will be automatically expired at 828. Now it's 828, let's make an API call. Now the call should go all the way to the backend because we have specified the timeout as 828. As you can see, now it is again going to back to the backend and getting the latest data from the backend system. That's how we can able to control the cache settings while defining the response cache policy. You can also explore other options based on your requirement. Hope you have enjoyed this video. If you are evaluating Apigee Edge platform, you can reach out to us using this link. If you have any questions, please feel free to post your question in community.apigee.com. Please spread the love for APIs with your colleagues and friends who are interested in API management by sharing this video. You can also subscribe to YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button below this video.